Mr. Trump's allies pledging to come to New York City in protest and still criticizing Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg for carrying out what they describe as a witch hunt. Still, this is a serious criminal case that comes with real potential consequences that could affect the former president's future political aspirations. Mr. Donald Trump's supporters following his lead Friday in characterizing the former president's 30-count criminal indictment as a witch hunt. U.S. Republican Senator Lindsey Graham of South Carolina. You got a misdemeanor that's been made a felony. Nobody in the history of New York City has ever been prosecuted under this theory except for Donald J. Trump. The criminal case centers on a $130,000 payment, alleged hush money, made before Mr. Trump's first 2016 presidential run to a former adult film actress in exchange for her silence about their alleged affair, an affair he denies. Connecticut Democratic Senator Richard Blumenthal. The justice system will go forward. No matter what Donald Trump or any of his allies say, there will be a legitimate, fair legal process. Current President Joe Biden declining Friday to talk about his political nemesis. I have no comment on that. Or the prospect of seeing Mr. Trump enter Manhattan Criminal Court Tuesday to be charged, fingerprinted, and possibly handcuffed. It would be a first for any former U.S. president. On his Truth Social app, Mr. Trump commented several times on the matter, describing his criminal case as, quote, election interference, kangaroo court, adding, the judge assigned to my witch hunt case hates me. In response to the former president's calls for violence, Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg's office fired off another sharply worded letter to congressional Republicans, which reads in part, quote, we urge you to refrain from these inflammatory accusations, withdraw your demand for information, and let the criminal justice process proceed without unlawful political interference. Political analyst Morgan Peckma. I, I see the former president trying to play this up to his political advantage. It may help him in the primary, but does it help his overall image? It's, it's hard to see how that plays out. There's a big local, national, and international media presence here in front of Manhattan Criminal Court. Still no demonstrations or real police presence, but that is expected to change in a big way in the coming days.